Hey, welcome to another video on Pranavasimha Farms. In this video, I want to talk about the placement of uh, lateral pipes when it comes to drip, drip irrigation. As I have spoken before, we have trenches dug at the farm every four and a half feet. I'm not sure if you can see the trenches here because we, uh, we have put horse gram and some bit of weeds have grown. But you can see that we have duck trenches every four and a half feet. And between two trenches, the ridges that have formed basically has has the saplings planted. Right? This is the arachanet line. And this is the banana line. While we installed the lateral pipes of drip irrigation, we placed it at the center of the ridge. For example, you can see the ridge here. We have placed the drip irrigation pipes, lateral pipes, right at the center of the ridge. And very next to the lateral pipe is where the sapling have been planted. So, the drip irrigation lateral pipes are right next to the shoot of the plant. But as I was reading, um, as I was studying more about this, what I understood is that the water pipes or uh, the lateral pipes should be near the feeder roots of the plant. I don't know what the feeder roots are called but these are thin hair like structures which actually take in the nutrients which actually takes takes in the moisture so uh, the drip irrigation pipes lateral pipes should be near the feeder roots so when i uh, read more about where the feeder roots are basically the feeder roots exist or to determine where the feeder roots are, you just have to look at the shoot of the plant, that is the actual plant, and wherever the tip of the leaf is. Example, in this plant, the tip of the leaf is actually well, well beyond the trench. So, the roots of this specific plant, or the feeder roots, are near the edge of the leaves, that is this point right so the water should actually be given at this point let me kind of use my hands at this point not right at the base of the sapling like we have done right now right so i should i should be bringing the lateral pipes from this point to this point which is essentially the trench now this is the theory i discussed this with the supervisor at my farm um, he was not too sure about it. In fact, he act actively uh, tried to persuade me away from this idea. The reason is, um, in the villages, they give the water right next to the chute. And he's concerned that we might end up destroying uh, the plants. So I kind of negotiated. I told him, let's do one thing. Let's actually implement this in one of the trenches and let's closely monitor that line and if we see uh, some kind of stress to the saplings let's shift back that's that's how i negotiated and implemented that for this line you can see the lateral pipes are now at the center of the trench and it's not really at, at the base hasn't it? it was here right uh, next to the shoot of the plant given the leaves are the here so i moved the lateral pipes from here to here which is the center of the trench we'll closely monitor this hopefully the sapling should be fine um, and once we are convinced we'll move or we'll implement this for all the banana uh, plants basically uh, 
as the arachanid saplings grow let's go near one of the arachanid saplings example this one as this grow the leaves of this arachanid or uh, saplings come here that means the root all has also spread till this point so then the same lateral line should be enough for both the banana line as well as the arachanid line right and once this happens we don't need to really give water to the next trench right because this line and this line should draw the water from this single uh, lateral line so we should we should basically have lateral lines every alternate trenches at least this is the theory uh, or let me put it this way this is the this is how i interpreted what i read i will keep monitoring this i'll keep updating you folks if this works we essentially will bring all the lateral lines to trenches and that to alternate trenches this should make the plants itself very stable because it helps the roots spread uh, the plants anchored into the ground so that it, it doesn't really fall for harsh winds etc and also given if the roots spread it should be able to tap into much more nutrients much more moisture in the ground and the second advantage is that it also helps conserve water if you are giving water just in the alternate trenches just in once every 9 feet imagine the amount of water we will be saving right and along with that uh, the cover crops etc should help retain the moisture so the goal is to conserve as much water as possible spend as much as little as possible when it comes to the underground water and at the same time grow a healthy plant thank you for watching have a good day bye